It's the night before we cross the border into Mexico. And we don't know if they're gonna let us in. We're gonna park up for the night. The Mexican border is literally two miles that way. This is gonna be the last day we're gonna be in the United States with the bus. We've got so much to do still. I've got this printer so we can do our own copies of all the documents we need. What else do we need to do? Definitely tidy. Basically, if people come, the people at the border, if they come onto the bus to inspect it, we wanna make it as easy as possible for them to like see that we live here and that there's nothing for them to find. Yeah. We've joined a few Facebook groups that have been recommended to us and I'll put them in the description down below for any of you that are interested in doing this drive. And one of the biggest things that has been a pain for people has been all the different borders. Every border that you cross, they all need different documents and copies different documents and apparently as we cross tomorrow one of the things we're gonna get a visa and then as we go and get um, another like document for the car for the vehicle itself we need a copy of that visa that was just given to us so I just watched a video where some guy walked like an hour to try to find a copy machine so thankfully we have solved all those problems by bringing our own copy and printer we do have a potential problem and I'm really nervous about trying to cross tomorrow. The previous owners, Felix and Mowgli, they did the temporary import to bring the bus into Mexico in like 2017. And when we brought it back to the US, what should have happened was that that was canceled. Felix needed to be there in person to cancel it for me then tomorrow morning to get a new one under my name because obviously the registration's changed name. The lady on the phone earlier said, if he isn't there in person to cancel it, they might not issue me a new import document uh, and therefore we might not be able to drive the bus into Mexico tomorrow. So I'm super nervous. She wouldn't issue me the full insurance until that's happened. Uh, she did not seem um, hopeful at all. So I'm just really hoping that she is wrong and that we can bring it in if not it's impossible we can't like fly felix out from germany or spain or wherever he is now um so yeah uh we'll find out tomorrow morning but there's nothing else we could do um i've we're just really hoping that uh we can get in tomorrow morning and start this trip down to Costa Rica. Louis just gone to bed but I'm gonna stay up for another couple of hours because I have to finish a video and upload it tonight while we still have Wi-Fi. Uploading a 4k video could take hours sometimes like overnight or longer and we're just not sure where we'll get Wi-Fi and how fast it'll be and any of that stuff so yeah I'm gonna try to get this done uploaded tonight <laughs> and then I'm gonna be up very bright and early so I'll probably just stop the video now and catch you guys in the morning. We have just prepped the bus and we are about to head to the border. How are you feeling? I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm also expecting it might not go smoothly. I'm hopeful it does, but I'm also aware it might not. So we've got the whole day to get through and get as far south as possible. Okay, we have packed. Hey. What is this? Uh, it's, uh, it's our house. Really? Converted school bus into an RV. Yeah, that's pretty dope, man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, you have a good one, bud. Thanks, man. We're just filling up our tank before we head to the border. <sighs> I am excited. It's early. It's like 9 a.m. We probably could have left an hour ago, but we were just organizing stuff. Woo! Thank you to 
Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Since moving into the school bus, we've been more aware than ever of the waste that we produce. That's why I love finding products that work great and help eliminate the need for single-use plastic. We've recently switched to Blue Land's cleaning products and hand soap, and I love that they're effective, convenient, affordable, and sourced from clean ingredients. And best of all, all you need to clean your house or hands is a nickel-sized tablet. Blue Land uses no single-use plastic in any component, from the bottles, tablets, wrappers, to shipping. Their products are vegan and cruelty-free. They're also made with clean ingredients and made without ammonia, VOC, soy and nut, chlorine, bleach, and parabens. Blue Land is also EPA certified, which means that EPA scientists have evaluated every ingredient in the product to make sure it meets safer choices stringent criteria. By switching to Blue Land, we're also saving tons of money. Instead of spending $5 to $10 on a bottle of cleaner, it's only $2 per tablet and goes as low as $1.55 if you buy in bulk. All you have to do to use it is fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water, drop one of the tablets in, put the nozzle on after the tablet has fully dissolved, and it's ready. We have the Clean Essential Hand Soap Duo. If you get a kit, you already get a 20% savings. Plus, we have a code for you to save an extra 20%. All you have to do is click on the link below to get 20% off your first kit. Alright, let's get back to the video. We are in Mexico. I cannot believe it. Oh, I'm, I, it's unreal that we're actually finally on this trip down to Costa Rica. I know, because it feels like the whole trip in the US has just been like a fun little squiggle on the map, but now we're actually heading down towards yeah. our house. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was thinking the border would be way harder, but honestly, it was pretty easy. The whole thing probably took us like two hours, including getting the yeah. bus searched. There was a really friendly, like, sniffer dog that came on the bus, but I was playing with him and... <laughs> yeah, overall it wasn't too bad, and the main thing is everyone says the border towns are some of the more dangerous areas, so we just like drove straight. We're now about three hours away from the border and we're gonna stop, make some lunch, and relax a little bit before we head out to hopefully get to a really nice RV park tonight. So we can afford to do about a 30 minute stop on our way to the RV park. Whew. Just checking all the boxes are strapped down well. I need to grab one of the um, ratchet straps to hold the, some of the boxes in place downstairs because they're sliding around. I've got a cover for the bikes and a cover for the generator. Uh, and this was flapping around because I'd forgot, forgot to clip it on so someone was beeping me, but that's all secured now. I could put a few more bungee cords around there actually. What a beautiful day. very small town and these roads are super narrow. Uh -huh. Oh that cable is low. Oh that is really low. Do you want to check? We've got a 90 degree turn coming up. This is what I've been fearing this whole drive. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. These cars here are not helping the situation. Luckily, this woman just left with her car, so hopefully that should help. But these roads are not built for a bus. Okay. All right, I think he's got it. in amazingly and we're just gonna go and scout out where we can actually park because obviously it's a huge 40 foot long school bus here's 
our spot. Let's see if we fit. Okay. By the way, I cannot wait to see this view in the morning. The fridge stopped working this morning, which is a complete catastrophe. What's going on? I just felt my throttle, my accelerator, just suddenly go pop and it's like not doing anything. That noise. Okay, the brakes have got really bad now. I've messaged my friend and he recommended that we get this looked at as soon as possible because you don't want your air brakes failing. We just been pulled over by the police. Check this out. The box is literally hanging off. It's broken the welds and uh, I'm gonna have to weld this back on tonight because uh, we can't drive like that. 